it has been 13 days since 19 year old matthew evans and his friend darrell miller 24 disappeared and their loved ones are seeking answers after the decomposing body of the two men were discovered in an area near sligoville Now viewers, an autopsy is to be done on the men to determine whether it is Matthew and his friend Darrell. It is said that the remains of the two men were found badly decomposed. Now viewers, if you are a first time viewer, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section and remember to click the notification bell so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Now since news broke of the discovery of the two men, persons online have been mixed reaction i'm gonna read some of the comments persons made online look here the level of evil in jamaica can be blamed on the government it's a type of people and belief systems that's ruining the country vanity money jealousy greed vengeance eye for an eye cold-hearted emperors a walk around just killing people in the most brutal way in high numbers for nothing sensible at all r.i.p to those that were found at least the family can get closure more than the many families who relatives still missing after many months and years nobody now get lock up for this and it's a disgrace Mankind now no love trust me, may his soul rest in peace, them no deserve this. The arts of mankind these days are so devious, remember no bad deed goes unpaid, you can hide from man but you can't hide from God. You me can't believe a little Matthew, R.I.P. youth, R.I.P. to them both and condolences to their families. It's just sad how oh, y'all are so quick to call Matthew's name without getting any further information or seeing his face on one of the bodies. Y'all legit crazy. Cartel and Squash said it enough. The streets no love nobody. Signs R.I.P. Me used to go South Borough Primary with them you know. Bro me feel F up. Fi no say dog drop out. In a October me did take all the dog bus where him did the pan. Rest up still G. There are some communities where crime and violence is concentrated and elevated over and above the capacity and they require more resources. What the SOE does is to give us the ability to have the police force and the military deployed. People will say, well, you can deploy the police and military generally. The difference with the SOE is that the military is also able to deploy on its own. Uh, the military operates on a different tempo than the police and so their deployment can be more intense and more long term and that gives us a multiplying effect of the security force uh, and so we use the SOE for that reason as well when we need more resources to be injected into an area and as you can see uh, when you look at the various checkpoints you see some checkpoints are manned exclusively by the JCF, some are manned exclusively by the JDF and some are combined and there are different types of security operations that have to be conducted. Some that may require exclusively the role of the police, for example investigation. Yes. And then there are others that are static that may not require the role of the police and so what you can have is a better use of your police resources. You can have more police doing investigation whilst the JDF takes up the static and some dynamic duties. Uh, and so the, the SOE gives us that, that uh, potential for a, a, a better use of our resources. They go to captivity. And when they come back, where they start fighting against me? I mean, I'm a guilty of the crime. Because I said, the man that confess. Then, see, I want to come back and start fighting against me. And now we out. I'm going to reach back this up. I'm going to tell you about now nearly 40 years. I'm going to tell you now reach back this up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come up with a combatter, Nike and Peace and Peace. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say
So anyway, I go on a man after seven years, I tell him, cave man. I say, in your past, now I'm a cave man. See? That's right. And Turkey had used me live right, you see? And the police never tell me to walk fast. If I'm in there. Turkey had used me. Right, that's right. That's right. Until God provides somebody to help me. So who helped you? Well, you know, a lady, and I thought, I suppose, you see that the member was him? See him. See him. I am. Voting money for the poor. And the prime minister. And the minister. Everybody. Go and tell him come on. The MP? Yeah, the MP. That's it. The man really had to push me. I could have got some of it. Otherwise, I would have still been the same way. The reason why you ended up there yeah. was because you had gone to, to yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. How long you spent in prison? Spent uh, eight years. Eight years in prison? Eight years. What was the crime? I lived there gave me some five and two a man to you. Oh, they say you're ready? Yeah, I'm ten years back. I read my mm. And you didn't do it? You know, you did, boss. Okay. I agree, send me a sister. So that, 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 that just shattered your life? Yeah. Well, I see, I hear me. But I know, say, you try to be a thing where you know, say, you really not do it. And you not do it. And every night you lie down, you know, say, a burden the pile. Mm -hmm. You never fulfill. Mm -hmm. You never do it. And you know, you do the crime. What is not, let me see a lady a pass on my wall in there. Yeah. Consent. But just to see what you see with. You change your mind now and, and everybody say, yes, me, you did it. And one of you people never believe it. But who will it believe it? And how will you know after when they are prison and you start confessing with God, does God do that? Have you forgiven that woman for what she did? Yeah, but now the same place about time come from and pass him ready until him dead. Dead, you know? And you can't face it. Send me never have but I see you know what you was going to do now. She has died? Yes, I'm dead. And you're both, saying that she, can, here. And she confessed? And you can't face everybody in her, in her district, you know. That's why I don't come back and many people don't live good. I don't see something about you know. You lived um, in that cave here for 30 years. 30 years, right. 30 odd years. 30 years. To about 37. Mm. So how Miss Price find you? Somebody recommend him. Oh, well, I was actually doing there, There's a cave on the property. So we call it the big cave. So I, I'm a YouTuber. So I was around there, you know, inspecting the cave and everything just highlighting on my channel and then the gentleman that was doing the tour with me said that there is a caveman that live in the area so then i said to him all right you can just take me to him and then i can do a little interview with him to get an experience what life is like living in the woods and all of that so that's how i end up up there with him and from there what happened oh and from there now we called him and the, the gentleman called him Cayman, so while they were calling him, um, we climb up. It, it, it's a hilly area. I don't know if you want to go around there. Yes, so we climbed the hill, and then I was just talking to him to say that I'm just here to do a little interview to hear what it was his experience like and all of that. And then while doing the interview with him, he started to cry. So because he started to cry and I started to ask for help to say like if there is anyone out there that can help Mr. Williams, you can please help him because he has been around there since I think at that time I put up 32 years. But after the community members um, engage in a discussion, we realized that it was more than that. So he has been around there since in the 80s. Yes. So ever since now, since I put it on the channel, um, Appleton came on board. So they gave the, the land space so that we can build a little place. The MP came on board to say that he will assist with materials 
and all of that. And then the, all the other help came from the YouTube channel. That channel is Chat Jamaican with Tanya. So, and I am Tanya. So that's how we end up now trying our best to complete so that he can, you know, move him. But Mr. Williams said that the most thing that he was grateful for is getting a bed. Yeah. So he was saying that when him get the bed from removing the bed, him don't leave from around here. And just happy and grateful for the opportunity for the bed. So one room, one bathroom, the living room. Um, we, we didn't intend for it to be this huge, yeah. but because we got the community members who started it, they weren't following the little plan that I had. You know, they just do their own thing because they were the MP was the one who got the laborers, so he was responsible for labor. And then Upperton contributed, and then I was to get the rest of the money. So because he was doing the labor, when we asked for the house to, you know, go down in size. Everybody was complaining, so we just continue the way it is. So it's one bedroom, one big spacey living room area, and a bathroom. So they feel different in a new house? No, it's been the most feel different bath, man. Tell us about the first night, your first night coming in. First night? Well, I'm telling you something, you say, I sleep better. <laughs> and how are you the rest of the time? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, you know, I have no door on me, I said to myself, I said, boy, boy, someone come in, Tommy. But I still don't no feel the coming, that's so bad. She said, no way out for me. So you have a guide me and keep me. And I have a guide me and keep me. Warning! Ratings this larger than life, you mongers. Ratings. The simple things are your blessings.